Alright, catch your sense. And I'm about to hit. Student tense and begin. Honor, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self control, courage, community. Talking it. And Jumbi. All right, so what we're going to start off with today, warm up wise, we're going to start off with uh, the Warriors did a minute. So we're going to do for Defenders and Guardians a minute and 15 seconds. Now we're going to do an extra 15 seconds of each exercise. So the first one was squats in the air. Squats, squats, well, not in the air, but squats. All right. Uh, make sure we're keeping our back straight and going down as low as we can. All right, minute 15 and go. Very good, very good. Good, keep it going, 45 seconds. Excellent, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay, keep going, almost done. Yep, 15 seconds remain. Ten seconds. And time. All right, next one, Aaron, is jumping jacks. All right, jumping jacks for a minute 15. And begin. Uh, keep going, 40 seconds. And 30 seconds. <laughs> 15 seconds. Keep it going, almost done. Five seconds, three, two, one, and time. All right, next one, next one is sit-ups. All right, so down on our backs. Arms, I always recommend arms across the chest like so. Okay, that is the safest way to do it. Um, but you do it how you feel, okay? Minute 15, sit-ups, as many as you can do. If you need to prop your feet under like a couch or anything like that to make sure that uh, to help you as well, or if someone can sit on your feet or something like that, then go for it. All right, but if not, minute 15 and begin. Good. Keep going, keep going. 40 seconds. Good, good, good. 20 seconds. Kicks. Next class will be front kicks, 
Ten seconds. Here we go. And time. All right. And next one, we're going to be push ups. For a minute 15. And begin. And if you need a rest at any given time, just go into the push up position and rest. Forty five seconds. Five, each leg. Good, almost done. Twenty seconds. Really get that side kick motion. Don't want to just pull it up and go this way. Push it out and then wrap it around. Five, five, four, Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right. And let's go ahead and finish off with we're going to do 15 burpees. Now, if you haven't done a burpee before, it's been a minute, uh, or I know there's different variations of it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to jump up, go down. Do we push up, come back up, and then do it again. All right, you can do it 15 times, and that's the last thing we got to do. All right, we'll go into stretching. All right, 15 burpees, and go. All right, before we do our last one, I want to take a real quick look here. So some of us are doing the hook kick new to the band, all of the different parts. Some of Just us like so. are doing... Make sure we're reaching when we jump. How can I explain something kind of looking like a donkey kick? Because we're going this way. What in the world are you looking at behind you? There's nothing back there. Your target's in front of you. So keep your eyes here as you kick. Right? The enemy of any kick is your eyes. If you're not looking at it, you can't hit it. Okay, last one. Crank that button. Good. Keep it going. Almost done. Almost done. All right. So from here, moving on. Now, let's get into something a little bit more our speed here. Spinning hook kick, one of my favorite techniques. Okay, if you spark me, you know I like to use that. All right, so the spinning hook kick, let me open this back up to the speed. So, a couple different ways you can execute the spin. You can Good job, Aaron. Keep it going. A spinning side kick motion, or you can take a spinning heel kick and kind of bend at the end. Yeah, work those, those muscles out, get as strong as possible. So All right. Take it more along the lines of a spinning side kick motion. That way, I get full Great range job. of the kick. I'm going to start my back legs. I'm going to turn my front foot, build up my back foot to chamber for my side kick. Good, good, good. How many you got left, Aaron? Four more? Awesome. All right, crank them out, dude. You got this. So what I want us to do is take it nice and easy, nice and slow, and just smoothly go through that motion. We're not trying to go fast, just nice and smooth. All right, ready? Five of them, nice and easy. One, ready, go. Almost there. You got this. Keep the hands up, too. And this right row, your knee is coming up here. And then as you kick, you're kicking down. Okay. There you go. Great job. Great job. Three. Awesome. We wore out now. Let's slow it down. Yeah. All right, let's stretch. Four arm swings. Four. 
Mr. Stark, you did a number two. We're looking for a spin. Excellent, excellent. And backwards. Wait, can you do the hand up? Does Maybe like behind you? You've done spin hook kicks before, man. Come on. Mr. Second, you're Arms cross. What number was that? Oh, Mr. Second, five. Five. Excellent. And arms up and down. Dude, where's your spin? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> okay. I was, I was All right, let's go ahead. Hands on our hips and stretch side to side. All right, over here. Connor, what are you kicking at? Chihuahuas? You got to kick up higher, belt level or higher. Belt level or higher. All right, so from here, here's our next challenge. And forwards and backwards. Okay. So for those who choose to accept it, you don't have to if you're over the age of 18. Over the age of 18, so. <laughs> All right, jump, spinning. Okay. And hip circles. Okay. So how that one works, we think of it as a jump spin side, but it just carries through. It was a, it's actually kind of funny. I'll tell you guys a quick story before we get into this. I, a long time ago, back when I was still in the but by the way, I had a work breaking seminar and I wanted to break a jump spin side kick. I did my jump spin side kick, but I was still in the air after the kick. So I just carried it through and landed it behind me. But that technically. All right, now take your hands behind our back. And here's the shoulder. I did jump spin hook, but I broke those side kicks first. It was interesting. So if you ever find yourself doing that, it's possible it's a thing. But I wouldn't recommend it. You're trying to do a side kick, you end up hooking your hand up and down. Which is exactly what I did. And now I have a scar on the ankle right here where the board flies through as I was coming through with my back. So we're going to go out. All right. And left to right. All right, so we have John spinning hook kicks or continuing with the spin if you're over the age of 18. So as you do that one, guys, you're going to squat. You're going to think about your body like a corkscrew, or like a spring. You're going to twist it up, twist that. Head circles. Everything happens the same as if you're doing a jump spin side, and you're just going to carry all the way through. And Another way. Okay. All right. Then I need Check to it. Do that again. And good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do me stands. Yeah, I wish we could do that slow. Okay, so first thing we're going to work on is we're going to instantly jump into the form. All right, we're going to get that taken care of. And then we're going to go into a couple drills. And then we'll end class with a little bit of some sparring. Okay. So, and I know you know your form very well. So I'm going to watch your form. All right. And Ms. Zabawa, I believe, is also going to be watching the form too. Uh, so we'll give you uh, any critiques or anything like that. Um, and then... We will, uh, I'll go through it uh, with you as well. Come, but go ahead and go to Jumbi for Wadong. All right, scoot that way just a little bit, a little bit more. There you go, perfect. All right, you're in the middle of the screen. All right, so your form, your counts begin. All right, very good, very good. Okay, Mrs. Baba, where are you? Oh. Do you know why? Okay, all right, so, um, so you got pulled, us, pulled to the side, so, um, but, all right, so your form, you know the form, which is good. Uh, I, 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 I enjoyed uh, seeing that you knew the movement stuff. I want to see a little bit more power, though, okay? So right now it seems like 
and I don't mean this in any negative, mean or way or anything like that. Right now, it seems like I see that you're going through the motions, but I want you to really feel it, okay? And what I mean by that is, for example, one of the moves that I really noticed was after the big stance punch, when we came here to do the downward chop, uh, downward knife hand, I saw where you just laid your hand on the shoulder, brought your feet together, and then just kind of, kind of like just put it out there. I want to see power in it, okay? One of the great things with forms is you're able to create emotion with it, okay? You're able to, there's some forms where there's slow motion, okay? And it's emphasizing it, all right? So to create the emotion, when we're here and we punch, to go into that move, we snap it back, okay? And notice my hand is up, all right? And not touching anything. So I'm not resting, I'm not holding my ear or anything. It's here. As I bring my feet together, my hand goes out and I snap it, okay? When you do that, you're creating that emotion. You're also creating the power behind it as well. And it creates the sharpness okay, that a form is, that you want in the form, okay? You want it to be very sharp, pristine, precise, okay? That is, the di that is one of the big differences between sparring and form. Sparring can be as clumsy as possible, right? They can be as liquid as possible. Like you can, it changes every moment. Form, every move is precise. Okay, so you want that precision. Okay, um, so my my tips for that is um, a couple things. Work on when your feet land, your hand. Okay, so when your feet are moving, your hands are. When your feet aren't moving, you're in that position. Now, of course, obviously in some moves where we don't move our feet, then yeah, you, you do the motion, okay? But, um, so doing that, um, increasing that power, really feel the form, okay? Um, other than that though, your, like I said, your form did look great. Okay, it, looked, it, it did look, it looks good, all right? I, you were able to, you knew every move, which is good, especially since testing is next weekend. Okay, so you're ready for it. Now we're just detailing it. Okay. Um, another small detail that I saw was, uh, and this one's very minor, it's not going to be a make or break, but it's good to have practice with for future is when we are here and we go to the first move, instead of just here to create that power, we chamber. Step, palm strike. Okay, chambering is very important in every move. Okay, so we're there, and then two punches, and then we keep going. All right. Any questions on that? Any questions on any of that stuff that I mentioned? No. Okay. Like I said, your form looked good. All right, your form, your form was passable. Okay, if we were testing right now, uh, it would be passable. Now I just wanted to look excellent. All righty. All right, so let's do it again, Cal. Okay. I want to see your form again, and I want I want to see the emotion. I want to feel the power. All right. So, like I said, you know the moves, you know the stances, and all that. Now let's create some power behind it. You ready? I'll give you. Here's what I'll do. I'll give you a couple minutes to kind of go through each move, getting a feel for it, how you feel the the emotion is, creating that sense of power, and then. Uh, I'll come back and we'll, uh, I'll watch you then. How's that sound? All right, go ahead and practice. And I'll give you a couple minutes to practice. Then we'll go from there. What I'll do is I'll set a timer. Set it for minute 15 should be good. You good with a minute 15? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll set it for a minute 15. Now 19, the next three moves. 19, the round hand, half hand, double round hand. Now, now you are intermediate, meaning anywhere between green and regular purple, that's it. Everyone else, continue. 20. After that. One, one, 
So here we go. All right. You got a good idea on, got a good feel for it and everything? All right, here we go. Should be free form? All right, let's see the awesome form. Begin. Very nice. Much, much better. Much better. Even with the small small adjustments, that form went from like a six to a six, seven ish to a good eight and a half. So very good. Very good. Very good. All right. So now next thing we're going to work on. All right. So uh, actually, before we do that, we're going to jump in. I'm going to do the form um, with the recording just so that way. Uh, so follow along with me just that way for those that are home watching this recording, if you need help with the form, you can. Uh, this guy. All right, so, so go ahead, Aaron, do the form with me. So we're starting at 2B. All right. Chamber, step out, small strike. I'm going to turn around and do that. And two way. punches. Yeah, you want you to follow along with me. Chamber, back stand, square ball. Reach out, uppercut. Aim, six stand punch. We're going to. Half chamber, feet come together. Now we're not going to strike. And we're going to step into a front stand stand punch. Just like that. So let's go over the what we're doing in the form. So the form is traditional sparring. What I mean by that is back when these forms were created, this was back then when they didn't have M16s and M4s and things of that nature. And they didn't have tanks and planes and all that. So they had to use weapons like swords and sticks and stuff, bow staffs, or they had to use their hands. So let's go over a lot of the different movements. So when we're here, so, you know, we're at Jumbi. When we come up and then we palm strike, yes, it's a form style. So we've curled our fingers. But back then, it was a open hand. And what you were doing is, you were here and it was as if you were in ranks and someone was coming down the middle. And so you came, stepped out and was like, stop it. Okay, aiming for the chest. That's why most of the strikes in this one are to chest level, is to punching them in the chest. All right, now from here. So after you're here, so now you got a guy coming from the right side. So he could have, let me grab for example. He could have potentially two sticks of some sort, right? Or two katanas or anything like that. And so he'd come through like so, all right? Or, you know, however it works. And that's where the square block came in. So when you're here, you protect yourself from both. You did an outer form block and a high block. Now that could also be, you know, he was coming here and then instead he decided to do like a round kick or anything like that. So you're here. But he's, he's kind of falling into you. So what you're doing is you're going to reach out and actually grab him. Now in the form, we don't do that anymore. We just stick our hand out. But in the style back then, you reached out and grabbed them, and then you pulled them in. Okay, you grab their shoulder, their, their collar, anything like that, their hair, you know, whatever. You pulled them in while also throwing an uppercut. <clears throat> now, from here, you would then take this hand, you would actually open it. So right now, all we do is aim it. 
but he would actually push them off to then step and punch into them a little bit more. So you're creating that sense of power. That's why we add that step is because your body is going that direction, so it creates that sense of power. Now from there, of course then, now he's mad, so we punched him. He's falling back a little bit. Now he's mad. He's coming at us, uh, he, or he or she, they're coming at us, and we come up and knife hand strike their collarbone. All right, that's what you're going for when you do the downward knife hand strike. You're going for their collarbone, okay, right around there. If you hit the nose, no big deal, fine. If you hit the shoulder, eh. But really the, old, the goal is with that one is coming down on that collarbone, okay? So we're here. If, and then after that, then we step back towards them, and then we punch them, okay? So each move represents some type of movement back then, okay? Yet some may have changed, some may have not. So like I said, when we're here, we're reaching out and grabbing them. Now instead, we just put our hand up. Okay. But that is the traditional history of it. Alrighty. So next thing we're gonna do. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit of drill, and Aaron, this is meant to work on your reaction reflexes, um, working on your being able to use your, uh, be able to see everything around you, and all that other good stuff. Okay. So what we're gonna do is. I want to make sure you have enough room to the side of you, left and right, so that way you can move. All right, perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger right in the middle of the screen. Okay, you're going to be in your guard stance, and what you're going to do is you're going to follow my finger. All right, so if I go this direction, you're going to go that direction. If I go this direction, you're going to go that direction. All right, I'll try to trick you. I'll try to you know go you know I'll speed up as we get through it. But what we're doing is we're going to work on that reaction time and work on using our vision all the way around us, okay? So go ahead and we'll do this for just for a short period of time, all right? But go ahead and get in your sparring stance, one leg in front, and you can alternate legs as well when you're going through, you can step with one leg in front as well. Uh, but the main thing is making sure we're staying in our sparring stance and we're following the direction that I'm going, okay? Any questions on that? All right, here we go. All right, so go ahead and sparring stance and we'll begin so i'll start off slow just so that way you get a get a feel for it now the warriors i went slow for a little bit but y'all are much older so we will so i'll step it up a little faster All right, here we go. You ready? And let's go to the left. What about the right? What about this right? Left? Right? Left? Right? Left? Right? And we'll just do this for a minute. <laughs> and it's like, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to stay still. All right, over here. All right, very good job. Okay. So that's something you can also do. Um, I know there's a, uh, you can, if you really dig for them, you can find videos on like YouTube of like a dot moving from side to side as well. You could do stuff like that um, from that too, and it's completely randomized. Uh, but like I said, that is great for working on a reaction time, working on using our vision, our peripherals, um, and everything else to see, and then working on movements. Okay, so that's so that that drill has a lot of great uh, drills or many drills in it to improve ourselves. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, I want you to go ahead and grab a chair. Okay, grab a chair here, or at least something that you can grab onto. Okay, something that we can grab onto. Thank you. 
All right, so this next drill is meant to increase our kicking height um, while also improve, uh, increasing our leg muscles, where then eventually we'll be kicking much harder and things that like nature too. So we're gonna do each one for 30 seconds, okay? The first one we're gonna do, so I recommend always uh, hand, both hands on the chair, okay, or whatever you're holding on to, but keep your back kind of postured, okay? So you don't wanna be down here, uh, you want to kind of keep that posture so that way then when you go into doing the kick, yeah. you're kind of at that area where you would be anyways. All righty. So what we're going to do, the first one is you're going to lift your leg as high as you can. And then you're going to raise it up and down a couple inches. Okay, so you're just going to kind of swing it up and down. We're going to do that for 30 seconds, starting now. Like I said, keeping that posture just a little bit so that way then eventually, you know, we're here. The whole point, the whole point of blocks. This is mainly just to help with our balance because our main thing that we're focusing on is just getting that strength to build up and the height build. So explain to me why we are doing blocks down here. Whether that's hip level, not some of us are even going to And time. All right. Now let's go to the other side. You can either just turn around or you can move the chair either way. I'm doing it this way so that way I'm staying focused on the screen. All right, 30 seconds. Same thing with this leg now. Ready? And go. And that varies depending on how long the person's arm goes up. Back when I was younger, they told me that your arm has to be perpendicular to the floor, like parallel to the floor. Parallel to the floor. So yeah, we end up having hands that were higher than our head. Now what we're doing is we're taking our leg as high as we can, then we're raising it up a little bit. So we're increasing the strength, or increasing the height just a little bit. Three, two, one, and one. All right, so now let's go back to the other side. Next thing, now we're gonna work on our movement with pivoting and things of that nature as well. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our leg as high as we can, and then we're gonna go forwards and backwards. All right, so instead of going up and down, we're gonna go forwards. Back. All right, keeping that leg straight. Okay, 30 seconds. Again. It's much harder to do it without holding the chair. Ooh, 10 seconds. Oh, it burns more too. We, um, have gotten and time. Alright. Alright, let's go to the other side. Alright, here we go. Same thing with this side now, going forwards and backwards. 30 seconds. Again. Alright, any other questions? Raising that question. Nope. Oh, okay. Keep going. Now you can also do it if you feel comfortable with one hand and then having the one hand up to kind of have that idea of sparring stance as well. Just make sure you keep that foot up there. Two, one, and time. All right, last one, last set. So now we're gonna combine the two going up and down and side to side. And what you're gonna do is you're going to do a figure eight. Okay, so for example, if I'm gonna turn here, we're gonna lift our foot up, and I'm gonna draw a figure eight. Just like that, okay? So we're working both directions now for 30 seconds, starting now. Hold on, can we go back to that punch coming forward? I gotta teach a little bit later today too, and it's the second, cl second class in a row I've done this, so I'm gonna get my legs a a little bit of a rest that way I can function the rest of the day. Yes. All right, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and time. All right, and switch. Last one. 
All right, here we go. 30 seconds, starting now. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and time. All righty. I'll keep this open because I actually need this for just one second. All right. So now, Aaron, real quick, um, we're almost done. What I want to do is quickly see your uh, – well, not necessarily quickly, but I want to see before we jump into the challenge for the month is uh, your spine skills, okay? So, yeah, get you a sip of water and everything. And then when you're ready, get in your sparring stance. And the first one I want to see is your first punch attack. All right, whenever you're ready, and go. Very good. All right, now let me see your kick attack. Very good. All right. And real quick before we jump into the last one, can you put this leg in front? Can I see that punch attack again? Cool. Now put now keep this leg in front. Let me see that kick attack again. This leg in front. There you go. Kick attack. All right, cool. And then whichever one you feel comfortable with, more than likely this leg, but whichever one. Uh, let me see your third sparring skill, which is the other punch attack. Yep, so put this leg in front, freeze, freeze. Start with this leg in front again. Since we're using that hand, because it's the same hand with the same leg, okay? And go. Good. Very good. All right. That last one, look, uh, you've got the moves. Uh, the sidekick comes first. So after the three high blocks, sidekick, knife hand, punch, then knee. Okay. Other than that, though, good to go. All right. Everything else looks good. And just remember to keep this, hand, this leg in front. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's go ahead now and jump into the challenge for the month. Uh, it is wall sits. All right, so we're going to do a wall sit for a minute. Okay. So find a flat surface. It could be the door there, um, whichever, whatever. Use that door if you can move that rocking chair. Yeah, that one. Yeah, you can use a door. It's still a flat surface. All right, we're going to do wall sits for one minute. You ready? And go. Now I'm going to do a wall sit in the air. No, nope, can't do it. You still do it. I'm actually going to turn. I'm going to do a wall sit, switch it this way. There we go. All right, I got 30 seconds. Excellent. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right. All right, Aaron. Great job today. It's good seeing you, class buddy. Have a great rest of your day. And if you got any questions, let me know. Other than that. I'll see you next class.